all right guys so this is the iphone 8 uh, random shutdowns and we're going to dive right inside and figure out the issue and fix it all right now i bring my set and get ready to take this apart and uh, this is my iphone screwdriver for these rare bits of screws Anyway, if you're wondering, I'm already showing you how to get inside the device. Should you need to do anything, for instance, replace the screen, replace the battery, uh, camera modules, etc. Now this screw is a bit easy to lose. Let me put them in this casing. Uh, I was getting substitutes for them. It was another harder. Now, when here, we'll begin by prying in between here I can't use my fingernails but today let me just show you with a blade slip it in there like that and then bring the two nails right there into that gap then use these two fingers to push it up so these two the two thumbs are holding it down and then two first fingers are pushing the screen away from the frame so we're going to go down towards the side like that all right okay and then at this point i'll pause a bit and figure out where the fibers are located they are located on this side you look critical you can see them under there now we need to be careful of that we're going to pull this a bit downwards away from the frame for about two millimeters like that and that releases some little bit of adhesive that holds this screen to the frame and then we flip it to the right and just like that we are inside this is our battery uh, but first things first, since it is shaky within here, we are going to clamp it down. Uh, but before we do that, we are going to look uh, at the receptacle or the point that holds this battery into the phone. So let's look for the screwdriver that is a, a plus screw. I think. Uh, is she wear those cell tips, huh? There's uh, no, 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 no. There's inside there's a, a yellow screwdriver. I don't know whether you're able to see. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm about to take you on as an apprentice. <laughs> All right, so first screw, second screw. Now, our iPhone screws are a bit of different lengths and dimensions, so try to remember where each comes from. So I'm going to sort of map them there to give me a rough layout of how they came out from the phone. Okay, so that's the order, and this lifts it out. Now that I come come to think of it, I think I haven't uh, worked on an eight. I've done six, seven. I've done ten. I've done eleven. I've done twelve, but not the eight. That's interesting how it has eluded me for this long time so right now because it's random shutdowns i'm going to look at uh, the battery connector and then okay do that so let me get my isopropyl alcohol and then the clear bottle okay thank you so this is going to help me uh, first clean the terminals and uh, them. Uh, 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 not here for TP, but uh, <laughs> skip side. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So our hanky that we normally use, we tend to prefer tissue, but uh, this will also do the same amount of work. No problem. So when we dip in like that, 
and we swap to and fro to and fro and then we look into the battery terminals and swap to and fro so this is a bit part polar part organic and part non-polar so it uh, helps clean it's oily and a bit of Okay, and then now uh, let's uh, I think get the battery clamped down. <laughs> it's here. Uh, right, so this is my adhesive. I'm going to run it around the battery like that, like that. So I think this is sufficient to keep it held down. Okay, and then we plug it in there, and we bring this into place. So now we are going to give it one or two minutes to sort itself. But while we're here, <coughs> I need to assess the power button itself because of those random shutdowns. Okay. Showing that we are already entering the eighth minute while here. Now I need to introduce some uh, short, short insulation around here. The what we call it that uh, white uh, this material here that looks softish. Yes. Thank you. All right. So I am going to use this to provide some padding right here. And that padding is supposed to apply retaining force and uh, prevent this from jumping out in case of a fall. And uh, I just use the blend. Yeah, I have it here. Now uh, we trim this off. And then. Uh, I think I need a slender length. I'm still interested in these two boys right there. So I'm going to just cut a small piece like that. That's for this area there. And uh, I'm going to trim it again. I can slice out a relatively smaller thickness. Alright, so I think that's sufficient. Now, with a little bit of adhesive, and put that there. Like that. Okay, so each of the two. So I'm going to uh, separate them so each individually has its own piece. And that's for that. Then this is for the battery connector right there. And then we bring our plate down here. And uh, our screws back into play. Mm -hmm. All right, all the way. Okay. Wake up before. 
on and then now we make observations so we may flip the screen down and then connect it to a charger in this case a power bank and plug that in and uh, let's wait for it to wake up it's waking up so in case you're new here uh, we are actually we've been working on a, an iphone 8 that uh, was randomly restarting or shutting down and when it shuts down it would come on by itself it, it would just restart it keep and uh, on and off eh? yes, yes. And off, eh? oh, okay. Okay. Uh, pin one nine one nine two just, eight. just a moment just a moment one two one nine two eight two six two six okay so right now we are at what percentage you said that on a full charge this was taking you how long Uh, no, I mean like uh, when it is fully charged and uh, you start using. Okay. So we can say that uh, the battery is not yet due for replacement. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Socket uh, with this one, <laughs> the, the whole block. How often do they advertise government jobs? Okay, let's uh, plug in the real outlet. This is a little interesting. Until zero percent remaining. Okay. Okay. Uh, what I, what I've been using for charge? My charge, but it has been showing that also. Then it does Zero. this, but it eventually charges. It charges, but it was doing it only today, showing that it's zero percent remaining. Hmm. But not not before today. now not suspecting that you need a battery hmm? i feel i'm suspecting you now need a battery oh, really? because that's not normal let me first see if i can test with this one what's wrong with that one this. Hmm. thank you because that zero percent remaining is, is not normal so guys let's again go back in and we are going to use Wait a minute, is this compatible? Okay, most likely. Okay. Now we need to get that out again. Okay. Mm. There you go. 
have similar, so no problem. in the charger that lights up so now right now we're using the battery of the XR to eliminate and so this is suggesting your battery. Hmm? It's your battery. <laughs> yeah, that's control. Now with this, eh? So, that one is okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, it brings the thunderbolt immediately. How much is it? A good one is around 60. 60? Uh, Not this one, mm -hmm. uh, this is for an XR. It's phys uh, this one would be a hundred K, but then it also doesn't physically fit in. Mm -hmm. Because, the problem is with the yeah, it's with the butt. Mm -hmm. But if you have the dime, I can run and pick and come back. Yes. That's what I'm looking at because that's what I get. For seven at okay. Um, okay. So what are you saying? Like what I'm saying. Let me go for Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. My phone helps me so much. I have like a gig I'm working on okay. a project, mm. and I use it for pictures. Oh, Actually, I, I don't use it for other things. I know. <laughs> pictures, good they photo. Need high I know. And that's what I use. Yeah, it's your battery. You don't mind that got control board. I think you can get it here. Okay, bring I go. I'm going to leave you here with maybe YouTube or <laughs> <laughs> guys so we've um, figured out it is a battery issue let's go get a battery and then come back